I said I'd be more than happy to help in every possible way. I think it's great. I think it's two birds with one stone. Namely, you're there to show your talent, and if you're good, you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> and I think as long as you can combine this, and as, as long as we can encourage that talent, we'll be serving society, must be encouraged. I think it's ideal, Ritu, that you've taken this step, and we'll support you fully. Thank you very much. Um, is always assured. Now, um, I'd like to say a few things about the fashion industry. It has now become an industry in India. You know, earlier on, I think it was the exclusive preserve of the West. And fashion designing, uh, you were always associated with uh, YSL or Pierre Cardin or whatever, or the, all the names that went with it. But today, if you look around you, there are very many young Indian designers. Uh, the names are quite numerous. Uh, I don't want to mention them because I'm sure all of you are quite familiar with them. The point is that the idea that you must give back to your fraternity what you take from it, I think is absolutely wonderful. She's taken a very nice step in saying that she would like to give a little bit of herself back to the fraternity. Now, uh, the Indian designing has not really made waves abroad. It has not conquered the foreign shores, as it were. But it is possible, after the kind of waves it is making within India, that it can make a mark outside. The only couple of pitfalls one sees are, I think, uh, we don't have commercial savvy, number one. In, uh, I can remember one Hollywood producer telling me once that uh, if a film costs uh, $1 million, then the publicity fiddle we can do for you, we will. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Uma Gajapati Raju, for saying those kind words. I now request Mr. P.K. Lahiri. He is a dean of... Designer. And Mr. and Ms. Sisberry has a reason to feel proud about the same but I can say that after them it is NIFT which also has full reason to be proud for the day like this. We have galaxy of talented people who studied with us. Struggle fashion has become an industry. In fact I would go a step further and say that today it is the backbone of our exports. Out of 34 billion US dollars, jewelry, more than 50% of India's export. And if I indulge into statistics as handsome employment to maximum number of people after the agriculture. Looking at it this way, it will be a matter of surprise to many of us I'm here not as a representative of Saturday Times, but as a representative of the entire press, the entire media. Um, for a long time, like Ritu said, when she came out of NIFT, she was confused. She didn't know what to do, which direction to take and what to do. A lot of such young designers keep coming to me. They keep approaching me all the time. And if I were to sit down and count the number of designers who come to me with such such a problem, I don't think it would be possible for me to do so. They seek guidance and I find myself helpless. At least I used to find myself helpless because I didn't know what to tell them to do. At the most, if I found that any one designer had a wonderful portfolio to present or some excellent work that they had done on their own, I could give them coverage in Saturday Times. Beyond that, I could introduce them to some other designers, but there was nothing else that I could do for them. For the first time today, I feel that maybe now here is a platform where I could introduce those designers, the talented designers amongst the youngsters who keep coming to me all the time, and tell them that here is somebody who is ready to help you, who is done simply. Good evening. Um, we are here to celebrate, I think, the vision of a young person, Ritu Berry. I salute her. I think on the eve of the 50 years of India's independence, it gives me great joy 
to celebrate the future. I believe equally that we are a recipient, so we are a country of great talent. I was reading a book recently in which, in the 18th century, one third of our total exports was cloth. Is it not extraordinary that in 1995 it's the same ratio? The figures, of course, have increased enormously. We hope very much to make this a new beginning, as I hope the 50 years of Indian independence and the celebration thereof will reiterate time and time again. We need to celebrate young talent. We need to encourage talent by providing a platform. Fashion is a very difficult world. But can you imagine, there are all of you here, there is behind every garment at least 80 people that make it possible. I celebrate something else. Ten years ago, it would not have been really conceivable. Without the press, there is no fashion. I had a fashion guru myself, Diana Vreeland, in, in America. She always used to say to me that if you were to quantify the endeavor of fashion, then at least... I request her to present a memento to Miss Venita Di Nangia, please. <laughs> to Miss Uma Gajapati Raju. Now goes to Mr. P. K. Laheri. To Mr. Martan Singh. And to Mr. Sashank Wasti. Silk Mills. Miss Vinita Davanagya, who's a really dear friend, and she's always been a critic for me. Mr. Kapil Sibyl, who's a very busy, busy man, but I need him in this. Mr. Martan Singh, who's been an inspiration for me ever since I was in Mift. In fact, when I was working on my graduation collection, he was the person. Without your support, I think uh, the Ritu Berry fraternity would remain in the confines of my studio. And see around Design 97, just a mere dream. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you.